The day has come. My battle against Epic to get unbanned has come to an end. After all my blood, sweat and tears, I can't believe I lost. As you might have seen, I've taken down two of my most recent videos with Epic Games and my biggest and craziest video yet to come has just been cancelled mid-production and I'm here to tell you exactly why. You know what, I can remember it like it was about a week ago. Because it was. So it was just another day, I woke up, my alarm went off, you know, I stretched, I got out of bed, did my normal routine, I went to the toilet, washed my face, washed my body. I got out of the shower and started brushing my teeth, you know, took a little stroll onto my balcony, looking at the nice view of Los Angeles. And then all of a sudden, I saw this weird looking guy getting out of his car, all dressed formal, he was in a suit and tie. I was mad and confused, you know, this guy was walking really slow and I was just watching him, you know, naked pretty much. And uh, he handed me this. A lawsuit from Epic Games. I instantly picked up my phone, called my mom, told her what was going on, and you know what? They had the audacity to serve her too. You know, just in case they couldn't get me. It took me hours just to even open the letter. I was so scared and nervous, I, I didn't know what to do. Bro, I cannot believe they fucking got him, bro. You know, as his mom, it was, it was really tough. It was really tough, man. I was so scared for my little boy. <laughs> You know, it was definitely a very sticky situation Jarvis got himself in, but if you didn't know, I'm his lawyer and I was representing Jarvis on this case. But he knew what he had to do. Jarvis had to uh, delete the videos, obviously, but he was banned off YouTube because his channel got hacked a few days prior, so. Like, bro, I emailed them so many times, but my channel was gone. Like, it was gone off everything and I didn't know how to get it back. You know, I told him those videos were a bad idea. Bro, you never said that. You said that was a good fucking idea. What do you mean, bro? I fucking told you. This was not a good idea. Don't put this on me. I cannot believe you right now. You're supposed to be on my side. You know, it was a very tough time. A lot of arguing, a lot of drama, but I'm just glad it's all over. You know, this case wasn't too bad. I was getting paid like 500 bucks an hour, so I was just trying to use up as much of his time as possible. YouTube finally pulled through and they got him, they unbanned him. I finally got my channel back, I emailed Epic, everything was fucking perfect. And after a week, a week, I solved it, peacefully. But honestly, this has been really stressful on me. I have literally got a business, you know, I've got employees. <laughs> I have mouths I have to feed, you know. I'm not even joking when I say that. Most of the money I make, I invest back into my videos. You guys have seen all the videos I've been making. And since I deleted two of my biggest videos, having to pay out all of these lawyers and just all the drama going on with the fight payout, it's caused a massive hit financially. And you know, it, it's just scary. But as you guys know, I've got a clothing brand called Band for Life and we've been working on our second drop for a long time. I'm really excited to show you guys some of the pieces. It's dropping in two weeks, July 15th, mark the date. So here's a little preview. Now, but all jokes aside, I am in the wrong and I genuinely am sorry for what I did. I have now deleted two videos on my channel that I feel like I took way too far. You know, I never expected this to happen, but looking back on it now, I understand what I did wrong. You know, I've learned my lesson. I respect Epic for offering a peaceful resolution because I know they could have gone a completely different route. And for that Epic, thank you.